Hey what's up guys, welcome to Mr. Week channel once again. Today I want to invite you, because I'm doing this video, I think it's really special because of this gate, so I want to tell you more about it. I'm here in the beautiful town of Chadbury, this is in Worcestershire, stay tuned. I want to tell you something I found out about this gate. I think it's really, really special. You must be thinking, well, why did he bring us here? But just appreciate, guys. Stop there and think what, what I have to show you. And even to tell you, I'm here just by the main road. As you can see, there's a lot of cars passing here. So hopefully you can hear me perfectly. This gate, actually, I drove here a good couple years ago. Actually, this gate was almost on the floor, half of them. I, do, I can't remember actually precisely, forgive me, if he was the right hand side or the left hand side or depends what side he was almost falling off. It was very rusty so he didn't look stunning as he looks right he now. He was very rusty, looked awful and he was almost falling off um, until someone offered to, to recover this um, uh, massive gate, I would say is 11 foot high. Really, But just look at the amount of work is there, I think he's stunning guys. These beautiful things. I think is really, look at the detail and the craftsmanship there, you know, and after that you have to paint, look at the designs they made, I think it's astonishing, and that's what I want to but share with you. There was someone, a guy here, apparently not far away from me here, who saw the gate in such a bad state and he said, I'm, I'm going to try to find out who this belongs so I can fix it, yes, and he, he didn't, didn't have a big free. space in his house, so he had to look for a... Um, I think a big wet out. Well, he didn't have a lot of experience, believe me. This guy could do a few uh, uh, welding and other things with metal, but he didn't have the experience how to fix this beautiful gate. And what he did, so anyway, he had to pay to someone else to take the gate in a big lorry. They took, and this was a project of almost three years, guys. Three years project, I found out, and that's why I'm bringing you here, because I, I think it's incredible. He did this for free, didn't charge nothing because, like I said, this was almost selling off. And he fixed it for free, guys. And I think he did a phenomenal job for somebody who didn't have no skills how to, to fix this. You know, if you look and if you think about it, this is very difficult to do. Look at that. He had to send it there. You know, this was all full of rust. And look what he did, not only. You can see a little imperfections here and there, but that is not... I don't even care. I think it's a phenomenal job that he did. He painted this in gold, you know. He gives a little of a va va <laughs> Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Really beautiful, guys. Hope you're happy. So this was a project that took almost three years for him to finalize, and he just looks beautiful. Would you agree? On this piece of metal, Looks like a rope, isn't it, guys? I think it's incredible what he did. That's why I want to share with you, as I will take you somewhere else as well. But before we go to this part of this town, I want to show you this. I think it's stunning. Look at uh, above the pillars. There's a metal thing as well. But I think this is beautiful. Someone with no skills whatsoever. Paint it, fix, remove all the, the rust and paint it. And paint it in gold and in red as well. As I can see the top, he painted in red as well. I think it's beautiful. You appreciate because I think this is incredible. Almost three years of project this guy did for free because of the love of this gate. And look what he did. Not only recover this gate for, for this uh, building, I don't know what is inside. It looks just phenomenal. What a fantastic job. It doesn't surprise me it took him so long, especially at the top, isn't I just can't stop to look at. So I drove here. And I found out to someone that this amazing and kind person I want to share with you. I think it's stunning. I'm just... Uh...
You say there's almost no case. that I made in London. There's a, a surprise there so you will see what I mean when I what I mean to say by a surprise. And there you go.
And uh, if you go just to my video, you will see the live I made, I made in Oxford Street, you will know why. It's just phenomenal, obvious, London is huge. London is huge. This, like here, is huge. Look how beautiful it is here. Wow. I, yes, I can, I can listen to traffic, as you will see, 200 yards more or less. But it's still wow. I wish I could live here. Look at that, the mobile homes, they got it here. I think it's gypsies, they live here. Wow, perfect. Look at that. Lots of trees, very healthy here. Fresh air, clean air. The views is just to die for, isn't it? Imagine in the summer where you can see actually good couple of miles, good couple of miles from here as Malvern Hills is in this direction. Really beautiful. I hope you are all okay, guys. Please stay strong. I know it's hard. It's hard for me too. Really hard, I can tell you guys. So thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. You will help me out and I would be very grateful of you. So you don't lose the next video, guys. And you even can you go to my channel and perhaps see a video that is appealing to you. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye for now.